be nice today and this week, but hopefully you didn't put away the winter coats just yet because we still – I know everyone <laughs> was on April there. vacation last week. Yeah. It is still chilly. It's 32 degrees right now in Framingham and also in Natick as well. So it's a cold morning. The wind chills will be in the teens – or sorry, not teens, excuse me, near freezing okay. today. Don't say it's the teens, Tevin. Some spots this week will be in the 20s, but then warmer afternoons. So you sort of have to dress in layers for the cold and chilly mornings, but then the warmer afternoons. It's a relatively calmer weather pattern all week long, by the way, minimal – and I do mean minimal chances for rainfall through the middle of the week. April does finish, by the way, on a much warmer note than we will go throughout the next couple of days. And May looks to start the same with temperatures in the 50s, 60s, and near 70s. Scan the QR code because not only are we tracking some of the cooler temperatures for the morning, but we're also tracking some rainfall as well. It's not today nor tomorrow. Thanks to this area of high pressure, it's nice and dry. As this L, it's an area of low pressure as it moves in that will push in some milder air, but some moisture on the way for Wednesday. But let's talk Talk about the chill, not only this morning where air temperatures are in the 30s, but wind chills or feels like temperatures will be near freezing. Monday and Tuesday, look at Thursday, the core of the cold as temperatures will feel like 26 degrees on your exposed skin, which is why I hope you haven't put away the coats just yet. We'll likely need it all week long, at the very least in the morning, and then temperatures rebound for the afternoon with plenty of sunshine throughout the course of the week. 42 right now in Boston, 35 in Bedford. It's freezing in Fitchburg. It's 38 in Nashua, 35 in Lawrence. Plenty of sun today, but remember, it's a cool day overall. 53 for a high in Haverhill, 54 in Lowell, 54 in Lemonster, 54 in Grafton, too. Across Cape Cod and the South Shore, it's a touch cooler because the water temperatures are a little bit cooler as well. So 50 for Harwich and Falmouth at about 53. So is Martha's Vineyard. Next couple of days, we're watching a warm-up on Tuesday with highs near 62 degrees. That's not a bad day whatsoever with dry skies. It's Wednesday where there will be a few scattered showers on and off through the course of the day. And then 58 degrees for a high on Thursday as the sun returns. I told you, many Minimal chances for rainfall. Check it out on Wednesday. A 40% shot at showers. That's on the low end of the scale. And Sunday's rainfall chances are even lower, too, at about 26%. So for Wednesday, you will need the umbrella and perhaps the rain jacket. I don't think you'll need the heavy winter coat, though. Wednesday morning, a few scattered showers in the region as the kids are headed to the bus stop. And then by midday, too, for the lunch hour, most of those showers are pushing offshore. I see a clearing here Wednesday afternoon at about 3 to 4. This is a bit concerning just because of the setup that we have in the afternoon perhaps one or two rumbles of thunder and even strikes of lightning, but it's not a severe weather day whatsoever on Wednesday. And that likely will be the wettest day in the 10 day forecast as we round out the month of April and push into early March or early May, rather not going back or we're going forward. Excuse me. 40% uh, chance of showers on Wednesday. Temperatures rebound more so this weekend on Saturday near uh, 63 degrees and Sunday closer to 65. So there there will be some chillier mornings here for the next several days. It seems like we make up for it at the second half of the day or the second half of the 10 day forecast.